Hello, hello. My name is Eliza and this is my cat Fergie. It's been raining a lot these past couple of days, so I've really just been wanting to do a little stay at home cozy craft and Valentine's Day is coming up, so I thought how fun would it be to make a little Valentine. Uh, my friend recently came back from the UK and she got me one of the best cards I've ever received in my whole life. Um, it's this little paper toy theater and it's from the Benjamin Pollock's toy shop and I'm just so charmed by it like all the colors and the detail I just thought how cool would it be to try to take this and make it into a little valentine and the like actual paper toy theaters had little moving parts like you could actually uh, move the little puppets so I want to incorporate that into it as well um, but yeah I hope you guys have fun watching and let's get started I like to start every project off with a super rough sketch and when I say rough I mean barely recognizable to anyone but me. Um, I'm really just trying to figure out the different components that I need. For example, those two squiggles in the front are supposed to be two slow dancing sloths in front of a enchanted magical forest. This is me just kind of really sectioning out all the different parts that I need. I'm just using a cardboard Amazon box for the front and the back. I'm outlining the front border. At first I kept this just plain cardboard and I painted it, but I didn't like the look so I did end up using this uh, watercolor paper to cover it. I also used this watercolor paper to do the background and the curtains with. Here I am sketching the curtains in very lightly because in the end they're just going to get covered with gouache. I prefer gouache because I feel like it's a very forgiving medium. I really like using gouache because it's very buildable. You can get really strong, vibrant colors from using it. I started detailing the border with pen but I just really didn't like how it looked so I went over it with a brush. You can see here as I mess up how forgiving gouache is, you can really just go over and cover it right up. Another cool thing about gouache is you can just reactivate it with water. These are all just paint palettes I've had really since I was in college and they still look beautiful. The thing about painting is that it really looks like a whole lot of nothing until the very end. Um, even just watching this back, I'm like, 
blobs you've made blobs but i swear it's a it's a beautiful soft pastel forest I'm really happy with how the background contrasts with the border and the curtains. I feel like it'll really frame our two main characters very nicely. I changed the characters from two sloths to one possum and a sloth just because I, I love possums. I think they're so cute. Adding ink detail is very satisfying. And here is my little jerry rig for the pull tab. I made it with EVA foam scraps I had laying around, but you could really use anything. With all our pieces complete, it's time to assemble them for the big reveal. And there you have it, our toy theater inspired valentine. I am so happy with how this came out. Um, I finished the back really simply. It's just painted with pink acrylic and I finished the sides by lining it with a thin strip of cardboard that's been scored. Um, but what a fun craft. And I feel like if you make this, you can really customize it to you or the person you're giving it to. Um, just such a fun way to tell a story and tell someone that you're thinking about them. But I hope you guys have a lovely Valentine's Day and thank you so much for watching.